Hi there gay and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and this is the November reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I've been guided to do a Celtic cross spread for you today. Um, so in the current energy um, We've got the Nine of Cups, so really positive here. Um, some of you, it seems, have um, had your wishes granted um, recently. This could also be that some of you are just manifesting what you want. There's something you want, you've got your mind on it. Um, you haven't quite achieved, you know, that Ten of Cups but you're almost there. So take what resonates obviously here. Now the challenge is, um, here I'm reading this as guarded, a guarded heart. So as I said, I'm, I'm seeing this Nine of Cups as, um, you know, someone potentially you've got your mind on or something, but it's you that's holding yourself back. You're a little bit guarded because of your past. Um, this can also be holding on to your finances, but I'm, I'm sensing here this is you being a little bit reluctant in, in a situation. Now, in your recent past, we had the Page of Pentacles. So this can indicate... Um, Firstly, if this is finances, this can indicate a job that came in for you and that's why you're now feeling good. You've got your wishes granted. Um, for others, this could have been a person, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be any sign, okay, maybe someone younger. Um, and they might still be in your life as well because we've got pentacles here. So with this person, you're maybe being a little bit guarded. Um, okay, and quite interesting that we've got another pentacles sign here, Knight of Pentacles, in your conscious. So I definitely feel there's there's a an Earth sign in your life. Someone quite steady, committed. They might be a bit slow, um, slow going, but they feel like they're quite dedicated. Um, and if this isn't a person, this is you, I feel, at the moment you're taking things slowly and you're committing to something. As I said, if this is finances, it may be related to your finances. Um, but at the root of this reading, we've got this moving on to some somewhere calmer. Um, so for some of you, you've been through the ringer a little bit. Um, either with this person I mentioned or just in your life in general. And this is what you want to do. You want to move forward to a new career or just a new avenue, you know, a new, a new place, um, or move on from a person. Getting a few different messages here, so take what resonates. In your near future, we've got the Emperor. So this could be an Aries who comes into your life. Um, but yeah, I do feel someone new with this wanting to move on, some of you are deciding to move on from someone, someone from your past or this situation from your past and here's a potential person that may come in, it may not be an Aries, it may be someone who has their own business, they're very independent, loyal, or this could be you, okay, that's the other scenario that you decide to move on and sort of go it alone 
Okay, you might you might start your own business if you're thinking about doing that. I think some of you could be very successful. Okay, so internally we've got the Page of Cups here. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces could be on your mind. You might be thinking about reaching out to this person and um, making an apology. Or someone may have have done done that with you recently, but I feel this is you wanting to make an offer of some sort. But you're feeling um, a little bit confused. You can't see things clearly. Um, you've got two potential paths you can take and you're not really sure which one to take. Um, so really, you know, try to meditate and follow your heart, I would say, in this situation. Um, hopes and fears, we've got the Page of Swords, so I feel some of you are really hoping for some communication to come in. Um, could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini that's on your mind. Um, we've got three pages, by the way, in this reading. Okay, so that's quite significant. Now, there may, this may indicate an age difference between you and this person, but it also strongly um, does uh, signify communication. So for that's what you're hoping for. Um, and, and for that to be in this reading quite prominently, um, I feel that is going to come in. And the potential outcome, we got the death card. So a transformation, um, you know, in yourself. This could be a Scorpio, and obviously we are in Scorpio season. Um, so, you know, a time, a powerful time of transformation, um, you know, is coming for you in your life. And moving on to to that light, see that light there. Um, finding your path is what I'm hearing here. Let's just clarify that death card for you for your outcome. What a great card to come out with that, the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, things are, things are going to turn in your favour, the wheel's going to turn in your favour. Good luck coming in for you. Yeah. Um, so things, you know, you're going to transform and your life is going to transform and, and things are just going to fall into place, is what I'm hearing here, yes things that you're desiring at the moment okay if they haven't all come in and you're manifesting they will just keep manifesting what it is you want okay okay Virgo um, I hope you've enjoyed this reading um, if you did please do like comment and subscribe um, and please note, I'm also doing private readings, so check the description box below for more details. I'd love to connect with some of you, and um, I hope to see you again soon.